Hi, everyone. Or should I say ciao? Um, bienvenuto. I'm Claudia Bester. Uh, I'm the Director of Public Programs here at the Hammer Museum, and I want to welcome you all to tonight's performance of live music by Philip Greenleaf, Citta di Viti. Tonight is the final night of our 15th annual Jazz Pop series, which brings some of the leading lights of West Coast jazz and improv to the Hammer Courtyard throughout August. Jazz Pop is curated by our dear friend and talented San Francisco bassist, Lisa Mezzacappa, and I'm thrilled to have Lisa with us tonight performing with Philip Greenleaf. So please give her a really warm round of applause for 15 years of curating Jazz Pop at the Hammer. Brava, brava. It's all you, babe. Um, tonight's band leader is the LA native, multi-read player and composer, Philip Greenleaf. He's had a huge influence on the San Francisco Bay Area music community for more than three decades. He's also a big cinema lover, and his Cita di Viti project is a collection of compositions for alto saxophone, bass, and drums that he composed to accompany the films of Michelangelo Antonioni. So tonight the trio is composed of Philip Greenleaf on alto saxophone, Lisa Mezzacappa on bass, and Jason Levis on drums. The bar is open throughout the evening, so sit back, have a drink, and enjoy the sounds of Philip Greenleaf, Cita di Viti. much glare on this thing. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for listening. This music was composed while watching three films by Antonioni made between 60, 1960 and 1964. They're called La Ventura, La Note, and La Clisse. And Angeloni, and Angeloni, Antonioni said that the films explored the difficulties of maintaining long-term real, long-term relationships over a period of time. And there are indeed problems in the films that come up that shake our main characters and their relationships. Problems that we all deal with. But um, really I was just sort of enchanted by the movies and by Monica Vitti, who in, in addition to being extremely beautiful, was an incredible actress with an incredible range. And if you've seen some of her other films that she did without Antonioni, then you, you really got to see her, you know, her, her breadth of her work. The first piece we played was called Stock Market Express, um, inspired by a scene from Le Clisse. The second one we just played was called Piazza Siciliana, inspired by a scene from La Ventura. And we're about to play a piece called Moreau um, from La Note. The main actress uh, with Mastriani in this film is Jean Moreau. Uh, Viti is in it, but she doesn't play as big of a part. And this is just, you know, inspired by Jean Moreau taking a walk.
Thank you. Landscapes and environments feature prominently in Antonioni's cinema. And this is kind of an, I would say this is an inspiring environment to play in. Sometimes people are taking walks, as is the case in this next piece. This is called Promenade from Le Clissé. Le, Le Clissé. It's not a French
Thank you. It's always a little funny playing for people, and you can see some of the folks you're playing for, and then you look a certain way, and all you see are bright light. And um, on the subject of bright light, oh, look, they're changing the colors. Magical things happen here, I think. On the subject of bright light, here's a beautiful scene that you might paint in pastel colors called Park, inspired by a scene from Le Clisse.
I think there's um, possibly a need to talk to a sound person, so I'm going to talk for a second and let, hello, Jeremy. How are you? Everybody say hi to Jeremy, okay? Hey, Jeremy. See what happens when you come to my shows, man? <laughs> Exposure. Yeah, because this is my hometown. I was born seven miles that way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I went off to San Francisco for a while because they told me the grass was greener, but you know. What grass? <clears throat> it's all wet up there. So I, I want to talk about these two individuals that I'm playing with and that I've been playing with since 2006 or 2007. Um, I wanted to work with them because they were a duo, a bass and drum duo. Now you hear bass and drum music all the time, but maybe not acoustic bass and drum. And they really had a thing and it was clear that they could go in in any direction they wanted to and work all the dynamic range. And when I was thinking about this music, I thought, well, there's just no better, there's no better pair to be exploring this music with. So this next piece is kind of a medley and it features Lisa Mezzacapa on the bass. Yeah. You can applaud for her. She won't, she doesn't care. She, she kind of likes it actually, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we've been on the, we've, we've traveled a lot together. I'll tell you, there's no two better people to be in an automobile with, they're just uh, snow. Whether it's snowstorms, ice storms, or uh, Highway 5 at 114, it just doesn't matter. It's all good. So here's two pieces. One, the first one is kind of uh, what I was writing while the opening credits of Lenote were rolling. This camera is just kind of floating down along the side of this skyscraper. And then we're gonna get into a piece called On the Train, one of the, perhaps one of the most emotionally compelling scenes in La Ventura. So, that's what's coming your way now.
Thank you so much. <laughs> LA has always been car culture, and I, whether it's fashionable or not. <clears throat> And uh, this next piece, I guess, um, showed me that Italian culture is car culture too. And people like to get in their cars and drive way too fast. This is called Roadway.
Jason Levis on the drums. Lisa Messigap on the bass. We hope you're having a good time. We are. Yeah. So before we go just a little bit further down the road, um, I got to tell you, there was a time where I was really thinking a lot about, well, should I be writing music based on something else? And it kind of bugged me for a while. Like, maybe you're just kind of painting by the numbers. But, of course, that's, first of all, it's just not true. The film is not, the film is a film, and the music is music, and they're different things. And I remembered a conversation I had a long time ago with a great, one of the great American soprano saxophonists, Steve Lacey. And I was, I noticed that a lot of his pieces were dedicated to people. And I said, yeah, I do that too. Why do you do it? And he said, well, you know, music can be a gift. And you receive it as a gift, and you can give it as a gift. And that's how I like to think about this project. Uh, I'm so inspired by these films. The films for all of us, anybody who likes cinema, it's their gift to us. And it's just a little way of giving a gift back to the creation, but also to whoever listens to this music. So uh, thank you for sharing in this gift with us this evening. This is a piece called Doveana. If you've seen La Ventura, you know that there's three, it seems like there's three main characters, and then one disappears mysteriously. So there's a while where they're on this island in the Aeolian Islands calling Dove Anna wears Anna. You know, weather fluctuation is really one of the worst things you can do to a saxophone read. I don't know if any of you play saxophone, but yeah. And you're like, yeah, what isn't? a pain in the neck about saxophone reads. Let's just all say it. My friend David Boyce says, I'm just one bad read away from a nervous breakdown, okay? Just cool it. And I know how he feels. Are we getting enough saxophone in the mix, folks out there? I don't know if we are. I'm, it sounds a little quiet here, but, you know, the alto saxophone can dominate, and I don't want to do that. Style. <laughs> I'm starting to, I'm starting to get relaxed, comfortable. Been in my hometown for a few days. Shabu. One, two, three, one. <laughs>
Thank you. We have a couple, a couple left for you. <clears throat> this was the one that I had the most fun writing. I don't know if it'll be the one you had the most fun listening to, but I'm going to give it my best shot. It's called Monica A Go Go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, Monica Gogo, she passed away this year. I think she was 80, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're, everybody in this band is really thankful for her contribution to cinema. Sorry, band meeting. Um, we were contracted to play an hour, and we have three more songs we'd like to play for you. Do you want to hear them? Yeah, you seem all you seem comfortable. Is the bar still open? Is it? Hey, you work in the bar. Are you still open over there? Oh, okay. Well, we're definitely going to keep playing, then. Yeah, absolutely. Never go home when the bar is still open. That's bad, bad, bad luck. Yeah, I was talking about car culture a minute ago. Here's one where a car just drives into a pond. It's called In the Drink.
I mean, raise your hand if you've ever driven your car into a pond before. I've never done it myself. But I'm curious, you know? After the car drives into a pond, our two main characters, there's another scene in a park and kissing is involved. Yeah, raise your hand if you've ever kissed someone in a park. If you haven't, I mean, there's gotta be a park around here somewhere. <laughs> Get on with it. This is called Pastoral.
Thank you so much for listening to us tonight. This is our last piece that we'd like to pay, play for you. Thank you to The Hammer. Thank you to Claudia and everybody that's here. Yeah. She does a great job. Amazing job. I've heard nothing but great things about her. I'm, I'm glad to finally meet her. I can't see anything. I see bright lights, and that's all I see. Just like Mom said it would be someday. Um, I'm ho you know, when I'm in the hometown, I just I get nostalgic and I say silly things that I will probably regret tomorrow, but I, you know, I can't help it. Um, raise your hand if you have a dog. I'm asking for a lot of hands tonight. All right, dog owners, you're going to like this song. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's a scene in Laclise where Monica Vitti's out walking in the dark and suddenly dogs come out of nowhere. <clears throat> and this song is called Cane, which is, of course, the Italian word for dog. Again, on behalf of Lisa and Jason and I, we've had a great time playing for you tonight. Thank you so much for coming out and listening.
Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you very much for listening to us. Thank you for listening to Chita Daviti. Thank you for listening to Lisa Mezzacapa. Thank you for listening to Jason Levis. Thank you for listening to Philip Greenleaf and his saxophone. Um, thank you for living in Los Angeles, the greatest city in the world. There, I said it. I said it! And um, yeah, um, for, all the for all the right reasons. Really, you've been so wonderful. Thank you so much for listening. Oh, I'm supposed to say we have recordings if you're interested. Lisa and I will be over at the merch table. And, um, you know, come by and at least say hello if you can. Um, thanks again.